To me, the logical place to begin when trying to embrace something as powerful as a home's character is with color. To talk with us more about the how-to of paint selection is Donna Schroeder from Pratt & Lambert. Do you like my colors? I love them. You love, yes. Do you like my purple ceiling? I do. I do. It's I do. pretty fun. It's amazing to walk in. Uh, I think you, you did a great job and having yellow on a wall, you know, it brings, uh, you know, such sunshine to the room, you know, when you have lower ceilings and, you know, like some of the, the ceilings in, this, in well, this home. Can we talk about that for a second? Because are there any um, rules of thumb? Because I did paint a lot of ceilings in this house. Should you paint it in a semi-gloss, a high-gloss, you know, when you have all those choices, which is wonderful. Sometimes it gets a bit confusing. One of the things you have to be careful of when painting a ceiling is the sheen. The light um, reflects, and, and it's a good thing that it's reflecting from the colors because then it's not, you know, lowering the room, um, you know, visually. But what happens if you do too high of a sheen is all of a sudden the lighting is bouncing off, reflecting in your eyes and on, on, on the walls in a way that it's not exactly the best lighting in the room. So when you say sheen, you mean gloss versus, you know, high gloss mm -hmm. versus a semi-gloss versus a matte. Right. The higher the gloss, the more durable and more washable it is. The higher the gloss, the more durable, the more washable. That is a good tip to remember. And when should you use a matte gloss? A lot of times you'll find it used in bedrooms, mm -hmm. um, not using it in bathrooms, um, in kitchens, in behind the yeah. sink, you want to stay away from that. So when it comes to picking paint colors, a lot of people keep in mind uh, what's it going to be like for resale? Are people going to like the colors that I use? You work a lot with paint chips and you develop paint chips and you, can you trust paint chips? Are they the actual color you're going to get? Well, I think the biggest thing is, is making sure you have enough time, whether it's a paint chip or a paint sample, where it's a wet sample that you paint on your wall. Live with it for a few days, let see how the lighting is. When you walk in, do you look at it and, you know, think, oh, okay, that's the wrong color. You know, that's really the way that you're gonna be more, most confident to, to finish that paint job. Thank you so much for sharing Thank all you. that good stuff with me. Now you go out and have some fun, express your personality, and paint. It's the best way to remodel a room without breaking the bank. I appreciate it. Thank you.